Thanks for checking out this unboxing video, and it's my favorite unboxing video because it's the BAM Horror Box. Uh, I was actually kind of surprised to see that the Horror Box made it to me before the original because I believe I got my shipping um, notification and tracking number like a day earlier than this one for the original. Uh, but I'm real excited to see that it's the horror one because that's the one I get most excited for. Anyway, the other one shouldn't be too far behind, so if you do have interest in seeing me unbox the originals, the original should be up tomorrow, most likely, unless it takes an extra day, in which case it would be Friday for sure. Um, so within the next two days, probably tomorrow though. But until then, let's check out the horror one. So as far as the properties go, I remember for these May, because this is the May one, as you will know from the title of this video, uh, there was only one property that I was super excited about, and then there was also the continuation of the Ken Heiser, well, I'm sorry, I don't know if I say his last name right, Ken Hazer or Ken Heiser, uh, three art prints. Uh, the first one was in the um, June box. Uh, I'm sorry, this is June. Jesus. The April box. The first one was in the April box. This is the May box, which we'll have the second one. The third one will be in the June box. Um, so the first one was really, really cool. If you haven't seen the unboxing for that, go back and check it out. Uh, so I'm really excited for the second one and the third one. So that I'm excited about and one other property in here. There are a few other properties I was like, eh, I don't really care about those properties that much. But, you know, that's the way it goes sometimes. All right. Tissue paper. Just one piece of tissue paper for my cat? That's sad. Let me make sure there wasn't anything caught up in there because that's sometimes I do. All right, so I think prop replica, I believe it fell out of its packaging. Not a big deal, but ooh, looks like a shotgun casing, but it's fully metal. I'm sorry, the light's kind of weird on it. Let's see if I can kind of block that. Okay, yeah, you should kind of see it better. See, it's like shotgun casing. See? And the bottom. Uh, it's very, very heavy. You could throw this at someone and seriously hurt them. Uh, that doesn't surprise me that it's super heavy because the quality of all the proper replicas are really cool. Um, this is cool. I'm interested to know what it's from because it doesn't ring a bell to me right now. I don't remember all the properties that were supposed to be in this, so. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not quite sure what that is. I'll put that aside. Um, I'll go ahead and do the pin. Love these pins. Always love these pins. So the pin is by, uh, designed by at Dirty Girl Pin Co. So Dirty Girl Pin Company. And, oh, oh, okay. So this is a property I was really excited about. Uh, and it is uh, Puppet Master. So the Puppet Master movies, I love them. I have all of them on DVD, not Blu-ray or anything. DVD, because that's how long ago I got them. Um, super fun. They're not like good movies, but they're just like super fun movies. Just great time. So the pins are different puppets, which is awesome. I ended up getting Pinhead, who is very, very recognizable. He's the puppet with the huge arms uh, and can strangle people and beat them to death, but the very, very small head. So that one's cool. That's really cool. Oh, this one's, I got a, uh, a special one. This is only out of 250. I, even though this is a rarer one, I would have rather, rather had the one that was jackknife or some people call him blade. I know he goes by two different things. The guy with like the knife hand uh, and like the white face with the black eyes. Uh, he's my favorite, so um, would have been cooler to get him, if he actually even is one that they made, we'll see in the spoiler sheet, but this one's really cool. I like that a lot. Very, very cool. Always love their pins. Next, I had a feeling this was going to happen. Okay, so when I saw one of the properties, I thought, they're bringing back a signed comic, finally. So they did. Um... Actually, it doesn't look like it's signed, though. It's just a comic. Okay, I'm going to actually take this out. Ooh, although it's actually, like, ripping the tape. kind of want to take it out, though. Okay, I'm finding a way to not rip the tape. 
Just because I want to make sure that it's not signed somewhere. Yes, it is not signed anywhere. So this is what they were showing on in the front of it. It's bagged and boarded, and the board's nice and thick, which is good. So if people don't know, this is a comic called Evil Ernie. I'm only familiar with the comic. I haven't read any of it. I actually, I do comicsology on Amazon. So I have like a bunch of digital comics queued up. And Evil Ernie actually is in my queue. So if I end up liking it, this could be really cool. Um, I mean, it's got good, it's got good artwork. If you can see it there. See? Looks like she's got a puzzle box, kind of like Hellraiser. Okay. Um, that's cool to get a comic. I do like to check out comics, so I like that. Hopefully this is a first, a number one. It says Chaos Dynamite 1, so I'm assuming this is a number one. The one is called, it's called Suicide King. Um, what they had been doing before was putting in signed comics. There's no signature on this whatsoever, so i um, a little bit bummed to see that it's not a signed comic, but this it's still cool. Um, it's bagged and boarded very well. I like that. That's cool. Cool enough. As we knew, now I got my one up, so I wish I would have felt that first, and then I could have got excited, but that's good. All right, so, okay, so this is the second print uh, in the uh, series of the Ken Hazer uh, ones. Ugh, I'm so excited. Because if you remember on the last one, it had, like, a ton of horror icons, and the name of it is Legends, number two out of three. Yep, does not disappoint. Does not freaking disappoint, honestly. Um, actually, I have to put that box down just to get this in here. Okay, so we have some critters in there. We have a portion of a xenomorph, it looks like, right there. We have a shoulder of Fer Freddy Krueger, so I'm guessing he'll be in the third one. We have the uh, main bad guy from Jeepers Creepers. I'm sorry I haven't watched all the Jeepers Creepers. Uh, we have the um, Scream dude, the dude from Scream, uh, and obviously Michael Myers. And someone is going to get killed. Looks really good. Look at all those critters. I like how many critters are there. It's pretty cool. And I got number 762 out of 1,500. And obviously it is signed down here by Ken Hazer. Um, looks good. So there's a house up there. I'm uh, sorry. I can't. Ugh, I'm trying to find the best way to show it. There's a house right there. I don't know what house that is. A lot of these old houses kind of look similar to me. That could be a house from... Halloween could be house from Nightmare on Elm Street. Kind of hard to tell. This is cool. I already see where this piece goes together with the last one. Because you can see right here the teeth and the head of the xenomorph. Because the last one had the other portion of the xenomorph. So I already see how this is going to go together. And it's exciting. And it's cool. And I like it a lot. So I don't know what this autograph would end up being. Do, do, do. Oh, so it's from the Twilight Zone. That was the other property, Twilight Zone. So this has been hand signed, signed by a guy by the name of Larry Cedar, who played the creature in the segment Nightmare at 20,000 Feet on, um, from Twilight Zone. Oh, this one's very iconic. I know about this. I've not seen this. I haven't seen much Twilight Zone. I know about this episode. I'm pretty sure this is a very iconic episode as far as Twilight Zone goes. Um, I think, if I'm not mistaken, this particular episode had, like, William Shatner in it or something, which is kind of weird. But this is... Yeah, so basically what I know from this is a, a guy, like, on a plane ride, and it's, like, really stormy weather, but when he looks outside, he sees on the wing, like, these demons that are basically trying to like dismantle the plane. Sounds cool, I should definitely check it out. Um, that's cool, that's actually really cool. When I saw on the back of it, it was someone from Twilight Zone, I was like, I'm probably not really gonna care about this all that much, but um, for how iconic of an of a, of a episode that is, this is really cool, uh, did a really good job. These are the types of things I love getting autographs for, like. Obviously, this guy's not even, like, a B actor or anything just because he, you know, was a creature in one episode of a, of a show. But it's from an iconic episode, and it's, it's cool. I like it. I dig it a lot. 
Another good box. Can't complain about this box at all. I like it. All right, so let's find out what some of this stuff is. Yeah, so Larry Cedar, known as the Gremlin. Um, okay, John Lithgow was in it. Okay, so I guess I was wrong. William Shatner, John Lithgow, totally different. But it's cool. It's from the episode that John Lithgow was in. That's cool. So as you can see, there were just two ways to have it. The actual kind of, eh, I don't really even like that one that much. I do like this one, the one that we got a lot more, if you can see it. Sorry, it's very. the one's very dark. We got the, I don't need to show you the art print because there's no variant for it. There is a variant for the covers of the comic. Um, I think I got the, the more interesting variant of it because you can see the other one just kind of like looks like a normal. I'm trying to be able to see. Yeah, you can see that one's kind of like a normal number one. This one, it's kind of like more full page artwork. So that's cool. Uh, Constantine, holy shotgun shell. That's what the shotgun shell is. Okay, it's Constantine. Okay, that's cool. Constantine, there you go. Sorry, my hands are just shaky. That's normal. Um, and then the pins. So the common one was Jackknife or Blade, as, as he's also called. Uh, the out of 250 is the one that I got, which was Pinhead. And then the limited, limited, limited one, which was 99 made, was the... I don't know what his name is. He's the guy with six arms, and he has six shooters in his six arms. Uh, I think he first showed up in the one where they fought Nazis, if I recall properly. So you can see them there. They all look really good. Those designs are very nice. Um, like I said, I do prefer the Jackknife one or Blade, but it is really cool that I got a rarer version, and honestly, I would be happy with any of them. So, and then they did a giveaway, a Airsoft gun signed by Bill Mosley, which if people don't know, Bill Mosley's probably most well known at this point for things like Chop Top and Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2, and... Otis from the um, Devil's Rejects and House of Thousand Corpses, those movies. So, overall, nice box, as per usual. Um, I haven't had many problems with BAM in the past, and when I've been less impressed, I think it's usually been the original box. I haven't had many problems with the horror. I've really been digging on the horror, but part of that's probably actually just because I love horror stuff, so... Once again, Bam Box killing it, doing a great job. I cannot wait for the next one because um, I think there's a, there's one property in there that I was really, really, really excited to see that they had. So stay tuned for that one and actually check out tomorrow or the day after that whenever I get it up for the original Bam Box because it'll probably be good too. Anyway, thanks everyone for checking this out and until next time, keep it brutal.